Hello, hello, and welcome. Today, I'm gonna bring a little bit of me to the table. And what I mean by that is, if you don't know, I'm Portuguese. And I love that part about me because I get to bring some of the most amazing dishes that I grew up to you with a little bit of a different spin on it. And what I'm gonna make today is called rabanadas. We are going to make a custard. We got our bread, we got our toppings, we got our fryer. That's right, we are gonna fry our French toast because it's gonna give it so much more flavor. This is something that my grandma and my mom always made around Christmas time. So it's something that I make with my kids and I love doing and it's fun and it's easy and it's a way to get your kids in the kitchen. Let's get cooking. So I have my trusty helper here and which is great because two hands extra on this recipe is fantastic because I'll be frying and I'm gonna have him dip the bread. So, loads. do me a favor, we're gonna make our custard. We're gonna do, it's six eggs, I use the whole eggs. We're gonna do a tablespoon of vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon. We'll whisk those eggs together. Making the custard, you can either use milk or cream. My secret is I do half and half. I do one cup of heavy cream and I do one cup of whole milk. I feel that it just gets a more creamy consistency and it's a little airier. Traditionally in the Portuguese, when you make the rebanadas, you use day old bread and you use white bread. See, I like brioche bread. It's just so much better. And I buy the brioche burger buns so they're already cut and they're perfectly portioned. Okay, custard's been uh, whisked together. What we're gonna do, I just put it in one of these dishes. The way this works is we're going to dredge and let them lay down while I fry. And then when they come out, we're gonna have them toss in our cinnamon sugar. So Lokes, can you put those both in the bowl for me? So you wanna have this all done because when they come out of the fryer, I'm gonna let them rest for a second, just a second to drip off some of that oil. And then we're gonna toss them in the cinnamon sugar because that's what makes them irresistible. Yes. You're gonna take the bread for me. Mm -hmm. You're gonna push it down with your fingers and you're gonna turn it, push it down. Got really it. soaked well, drip, and lay. I'm gonna go check on our oil. So our oil is nice and hot. Um, I'm doing it at 350, taking our sheet pan. He's still going while I start frying. And drop these in, just good old vegetable okay. oil. I'm using a spider here, kind of just push them down, and then I'll give them a flip. Um, I wanna get a little bit of crust on it from the egg flipping it over as needed. And I already have my rack ready to go so it can drip out for a little bit. The better soaked they are, the more custardy flavor that they have. So it's really important when you're soaking them to push them on down. Once they're nice and golden brown, just taking it out and you set it right on the rack just for a minute, just to drip off any extra grease before we toss them in our cinnamon sugar. Suck them out, golden brown, let them dry for a minute. What we wanna do is drop them in that cinnamon sugar and we wanna coat. You wanna be gracious and you really, really wanna give them a coat. I'll give them. Look how good, you wanna toss it? Yeah. Toss that. And see, I really think this is a perfect recipe to do at home with your kids because he was part of the whole thing and he didn't have to do the dangerous part of frying it. He gets to reap the benefits of eating. So what happens here is after they've all been breaded, I just sprinkle, the sugar, because they're hot from the fire, absorbs into them. You wanna tap powdered sugar on it? You don't have to put the powdered sugar. Some people drizzle honey. Um, I think the powdered sugar just makes it look so nice. But my ball ball would be so proud of me right now. We have to call grandma and tell her what we made. And here's the big thing. You can make a big batch cellophane wrap, put them in a Ziploc baggie, and save them. I love a donut. Mmm. I love it. Ice cream would be good. I got cinnamon sugar donut. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, babe.